Hallo, Bernhard Karl, International Programmer Filmfest München. Diesmal habe ich einen fantastischen ersten Film aus der Türkei anzukündigen von Asra Deniz Okiay, Ghosts. The, so the location, the location where you shot the film, maybe you give uh, to our audience a short impression about this special place. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. It's an invented neighborhood, by the way. And this Sujular uh, neighborhood is really um, kind of a typically ghettos getting been destroyed by new governments, new Turkish version of Turkey. And it was really important to, to shut there. We also meet people of the neighbors um, who introduce us to the other people and believe to the film. Normally you cannot enter to the different neighbors. We shot in two different neighbors. Uh, Fikir Tepe and Gülansu to the different, we made Sujular neighborhood and this it was really important and the neighbors uh, were really trying to protect themselves and uh, this protection was uh, so important for us to to show and we we want, wanted to protect this uh, neighborhood with this film on the same time. I've read that you wanted to show a sort of lost generation in contemporary Turkey. Maybe yeah. you can tell the people some, some glimpse of this idea. I, I, I was just saying, okay, I need to push this uh, art until the, the end. So I need to get this, um, get this uh, film for making kind of an earthquake in Turkey because all the films were so similar in Turkey. And it was so important to show what you need to say. And of course, as a woman, I wanted to bring in kind of a new technique because nobody helped me before. And so it became kind of a manifesto for me. So this film made our rules actually, and uh, we are being supported for many people for bringing a new voice for the Turkish uh, cinema. And on the same time, it's kind of a manifesto. We need to bring our lights in this darkness. And this is the most important stuff for us. I can tell you that you succeeded really because I never saw this image uh, of modern Turkey. And I was so grateful to have that on cinema. Um, you said in another quote, we decided to make it in a guerrilla way, a punk way. You had $70,000 in the bag to shoot the film. Can you give us an impression what that means to shoot the film with this kind of small pocket money? Yeah, I think that is the most craziest production that we made also when we are talking about that, even in Turkey, it was not possible. We are also filming in a really place that in, in, on the same time, it's always a chaos. And you are bringing another chaos, like this neighborhood, Gülansu. It was a left side um, activist, uh, I think, neighborhood. And when we were shooting, we were burning the place, like at, at the end of the film, they were really thinking that we begin a riot and five tanks, it's Turkey Kalashnikov, policemen arrived to pointing to my team saying what are you doing and I got been uh, also harassed like on the other side of the street and I was like no we're just making a film but I remember even the neighborhood when the police was arriving they said we're gonna protect you from the police and then the police were saying we were here for protecting you and as a filmmaker you are just on the middle and this is a, this is cinema this is how it have to be done you have to film the actuality on the same time and bringing on the same time your way your lights for for showing what you, we need to see and on the same time bringing to the audience some subjects for make them really think about what is it it's not just showing but make them feel something that ne they never never maybe expect but i think that i i achieve what are my goals my goals were was like being like a war photographer, but we get we get it a little bit more than that. And I'm so proud about my team who has really courage for supporting me for on the shooting. It's perfect now to watch the film. So thank you very much. Thank you. For this nice talk.